Hello everyone, this is Adam Morris with LoneStarBall.com and I'm here to check in with you with the latest Texas Rangers video update. Uh, well, today I want to talk about the rather amazing per pitching performance of Colby Lewis on uh, Thursday. Colby Lewis in the first game of a doubleheader against the Baltimore Orioles uh, ended up being the losing pitcher in a game which the Rangers lost 6-5. Uh, on the surface, no big deal. But, you know, when you drill down or if you watch the game, you know how remarkable Lewis's outing really was. He started off the game by giving up three straight home runs. Okay, in his first game of a doubleheader, there's immediate panic. Oh my God, we're going to trash the bullpen in the first game. Derek Holland's going in game two. He's going to have to go eight or nine innings because there's going to be nobody left, of, left uh, uh, to pitch out of the bullpen since Lewis is going to be out in the second. I mean, there's panic among Rangers fans. Then Lewis settles down, ends up striking out five batters in a row at one point, ends up retiring 18 straight batters after giving up that home run, uh, the three home runs to start off the game. Then in the seventh inning, home run, walk, home run, hit by pitch. Just like that, it's six to nothing. Uh, the 18 straight batter streak is ended, but Again, he's, uh, uh, Lewis has done something remarkable in that he's given up five home runs in the game, five hits in the game, no singles, no doubles, no triples, nothing but home runs. He then retires uh, the rest of the side in order, ends up finishing the game with seven innings pitched, five run, uh, six runs allowed on five hits, all of them being home runs, 12 strikeouts and one walk. Now, Lewis became the first pitcher in Major League history to strike out 12 batters in a game, or strike out 10 or more batters for that matter, not just 12, but to strike out 10 or more batters in a game which he allowed five home runs. And that's never been done before. He also became only the second Major League pitcher to go at least five innings in a game, give up at least five hits, and all those hits be home runs. And remarkably enough, the other uh, pitcher who did that was Charlie Huff, another Texas Ranger. There are three other pitchers who have done it in Major League history uh, who've gone less than five innings where they've given up at least five hits and all of them are home runs. And of those three pitchers, another one was uh, in 1971 with the Washington Senators, Denny McLean, the former 30-game winner, uh, who, was do who did that uh, the year before the Senators moved to the Rangers. So in the history of the game, it's happened five times, three of those times being with the Rangers, what's, what's currently the Rangers franchise. But... You know, I, I, Lewis is outing again. You know, it goes down, and it's just another loss, really. But it's just one of those things that makes baseball to me so neat. I mean, you never know when you're going to end up seeing something or watching something you've never seen before. I mean, Colby Lewis's performance is just one of those bizarre or bizarre outings that, you know, six runs, seven innings, that happens all the time. But it's one of those just completely freaky occurrences that happens that, you know, just makes baseball one of the neat games to watch. And it's just one of those things where you never know when you start watching a game, are you going to see something that's never happened before in the history of the game, like what happened with Colby Lewis. is just remarkable. And, you know, it sort of emphasizes what type of pitcher Colby Lewis is right now. He's going to strike guys out. He's going to throw strikes. He's not going to walk batters, but he is going to give up a lot of fly balls. And when the ball's carrying, he's going to give up home runs. So, you know, I saw on the internet somebody said this is like the ultimate Colby Lewis game, and in a way it was. So, in any case, uh, it all ended up working out okay. Colby uh, went seven innings, saved the bullpen. The Rangers won the nightcap to split the doubleheader, and coming back home to face the Angels this weekend. So, it all worked out well. In any case, that's all I've got right now. Uh, just wanted to give my thoughts on Colby Lewis's rather unusual historical night and uh, offer my thoughts on why that's part of what makes baseball so cool. For more Rangers information, stats, commentary, updates, be sure to check out LoneStarBall.com and for more video updates from the Lone Star Ball folks, be sure to check out the Lone Star Ball YouTube channel.